Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your September 2020 general tarot card reading. So I pulled some cards for love and career and finance. Um, we'll jump right into that, but hang on for a second. Um, I want to say thank you to all who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Okay, so Scorpio, um, lots of mix. Like so many different Scorpios energies wanted to come through. So like the, it took me a while. I just had to clarify, you know, more. Um, to my married Scorpios, especially my married Scorpio men, um, or at least those in, in long-term partnerships, uh, money might be tight. Things might be a little hard right now. So, so maybe your better half has blocked you or kind of not even blocked you, but kind of blocking your energy out, um, being cold towards you. You guys still live in the same home. You still have access to each other, but one of you, it seems like the woman might be a, a bit cold toward you because you are not bringing in money. Um, or, or not as much money as you used to bring in. Uh, you can't buy her the fancy things. Take her out to those, to those places. Um, someone's feeling like it, you know it's they're they're um, they're feeling like things have reverted or reversed, changed, uh, went back to how it used to be. It was going well. And then um, a monkey wrench was thrown into the situation. And it might be that someone is not able to provide like they used to provide. There's also a, a Scorpio man here who is in a home with a family, children, woman. Um, he's there out of obligation. He's there because his money is tight. He had to move. It, it just helped the entire situation. This could be a Scorpio woman too, or someone has, you know, moved back in with you or you moved back in with someone. Um, it, it seems like it's just, a uh, two people trying to pull together resources right now. Somebody's also waiting for money and there's good news about it. Also, there's also for some of you in your relationship, no direction in terms of where it's going. And, and that's why it might be crumbling and falling apart. Someone may try to lure the other back in with a gift, um, gift, an apology. Someone isn't, they don't have the willpower to direct this relationship. They just know that they really like the this woman, whoever that could be to you, Scorpio, or I'm talking to the cross watcher. I don't know. Um, you just know that you that she's very dynamic. She's uh, mysterious. She's uh, capable. She's uh, seductive. She's attractive. She's everything. And this could be you, Scorpio woman. And this is how someone feels about you. But the relationship is almost like a car with no steering wheel. It's going nowhere. No one is driving this. No one is directing the relationship. So there might be a sense of somebody feeling as if, you know, it's just, it's, there's no direction. So it might just dissipate. It might all fall together, you know, fall apart altogether here. That is how somebody is feeling. Um, there's also the dynamic of there's a man here who's very wealthy. Once again, is not able to steer some type of relationship. There's no cup cards in the relationship spread, only pentacles in the chariot, um, lack of direction, not having the willpower to steer the relationship. So therefore it's falling, excuse me, it's falling apart. Completely able and willing to, uh, and more, more so able to kind of bring this back together. But at the same time, Either you, Scorpio, or the other person, just 
You guys aren't doing anything. Someone could want to marry you. I think you have this in your last reading or you want to marry someone, Scorpio, but there's a lot of despair in terms of there's no action cards. It's just advice from the, from spirit telling you to direct, to, to get in control of this relationship, of this dynamic, because it's out of, it's out of your control and it might just be going nowhere fast. So one of these, this rich husband, wealthy man, we have, we have a rich husband here and we have wealthy man. So we have a man here with some money and he might be saying, I give you money. That should be enough. No cup cards, no love, no real romance, just a lot of, I gave you a gift or I spent my money on you or I spent some time with you, but no fire behind this. So the, the universe is directing you to put some direction into this relationship because it's not going anywhere. There's also someone here who had to stay with the family or be with their family. Um, they're separated from a, a soulmate here, um, but it's going to be short term, short lived that you're, you're going to be separated from your soulmate. Um, somebody separated because of, you know, financial issues. Someone is saying that I'm having financial issues, so I can't focus on love. Someone can't be all that they need to be to this privileged lady. So someone is, has chosen to back away. Uh, this could be the Scorpio. This could be the cross watcher, but someone is, um, they also can't communicate with you or they aren't communicating with you because there's a, a woman here watching them, watching their, almost their every move, uh, studying them. There's somebody, yeah, it could be the mother of their ch children, or this could be how they look at you, Scorpio, or vice versa someone's left out in the cold. They just don't know how to get back to their empress. But they know they want to, They want their happiness back. Scorpio wants their happiness back, maybe with an air sign or a fire sign. Someone with that in their chart. They want to have a conversation with, with someone about starting... A relationship back up because they were very happy here. Scorpio, you or another person that you're dealing with, they may have cut you out because they went from the Nine of Pentacles to the Five of Swords to the Five of Pentacles. They're just not able right now. A lot of change has happened in their life. So they're not able to show up for you. Maybe not even for themselves. They were very abundant at one time. And now they may not be. Okay. Where someone had to, was, was homeless. Someone had to move in with someone. Um, like things just started to reverse. Like they, they were here and, and then it just started to, just snowball into some hardship. Okay. So then someone had to make a decision in hardship. That's going to, you know, those are kind of desperate or ending up in despair, desperation, despair here. Um, someone wants another person to hold on because they feel like they're a true gem and a beauty queen okay this could be a triangle where there are children involved be and that's why someone is staying and <laughs> yeah clear that out so, did you this ball just sang okay it's called a tibetan singing ball it just sang so maybe that's a um a sign for some of you to cut this out someone is choosing to stay in a union for the because of the children 
okay? Um, and there might be little to no communication between you and this person. And this might even be a karmic tie, maybe that they have to their family. Things are at a standstill between you, Scorpio, and someone that you you um, are conflicted about. Someone who you may be at odds with right now. You you and this person don't see eye to eye. Um, you want someone to hold on because you, you want them to know that you dream about them. You really want them, but you're not in a place to um, actually uh, give them anything because you're... Scorpio or the other person might be saying, I have to stay with my family. Okay. Um, Scorpio, do know that, okay. That it's time to release negativity. Okay. However that shows up in your life. And that could come for you around the full moon in Scorpio. So definitely for you. And it's a time to give rather than receive or take, okay? And this might be that some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Some of you, I'll get to that. Some of you need to meditate and contemplate because you've got a lot of stressful thoughts going on in your head. You just don't know how to make something out of you fill in the blank. Some of you in work and finance, you're dealing with someone who could have stolen something, someone who was dishonest, who who um, gave you false hope, um, promises, but did not fulfill in a, any of these promises. You may have to take this person to court, okay? Or this person is taking you to court. You want someone to rule in your favor about money and legal Legal matters, legal issues, okay? Um, you feel like there's a earth sign maybe that's dishonest, um, untrustworthy, just not a good person, all about money, maybe even greedy. This could have been a, is a family member or was a family member. I don't know what that is. You felt like you have made a fair and just offer to this person, but they just are not taken to it and they're being very stubborn. And um, some of you feel like you're giving money, you're feeding somebody and giving them money. It's going nowhere. And, and they aren't doing much with the money and they don't have to do much. Like they are just spending your money on frivolous things. That's what some of you feel like. Some of you feel like you want some legal document thrown out and you want it done over. You want to start a new legal document here. Or if there was a business or you know, a joint venture that you went in on, you you um you want something to be overturned. You feel like someone should be in prison because they are a thief. Someone is going to prison because they are a thief. I just saw that. Um, Scorpio, the advice for you is to not worry. There's no need for you to worry, okay? Forgiveness. You need to either ask for it or you need to try to accept someone's forgiveness. Trust that this situation will work out in, in your best interest, okay? In recovery, right, because a lot of you... You went from nine of pentacles to the five of swords. Things just started overturning. 
to the five of pentacles. And it says you're going to recover all that was lost. Very beautiful. Okay. Um, this is your reading. I hope that it resonated for you. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Oh, also, at the bottom of this deck, we have po expect powerful change. Okay. New moon eclipse. Expect power powerful, powerful change. Okay. Um, yeah, something is going to turn around for you. Um, you could, you have good news in terms of money. I think that's what some of you are only focused on. You really can't focus on love right now, especially for my Scorpio male. Your emotions are too scattered for you to focus on love right now. Where was I? Oh, okay. So the three practical, um, practical witches spell deck I pull from the three spells I pull for you, um, are the banishing broom spell. So if you've had some negative event people in your home, it just tells you how to get rid of that energy. Really simple stuff, stuff that's around your home. You can use, uh, salt. Um, lemons and um, yeah so if you need to take advantage of that I want to take pictures of these spells and put them up for you um, and again following with that it says it's time to release negativity and then you have the banishing negativity spell so something about someone or something is negative then you have eclipse enchantment now, I won't read everything on this card, but um, it just really talks about some of you being in a dark phase or a dark place, needing to heal old wounds, what they recommend you do. Um, so if you want to take advantage of that. Um, and then the goddess body blessing bomb. Now, this is to heighten your sexual experience <laughs> if you are having any um it, it's like a it's a is it a bomb or ointment um that you make from sandalwood lemon rose oil and it just goes into detail of how you mix you know mix it and how you use it okay so if you want to take advantage of that go ahead and take advantage of that also um scorpio i hope that this reading resonated with you go over to the website book your own reading there also, you can text a question or as many as you like to the number below. Pay for your question on your mobile device. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Take advantage of that, okay? Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you.